Okay, we've got Dream Head Coach Tanisha Wright here. Um, Spencer, you want to start with a few questions? Sure. Hi, Tanisha. How's it going? Hi, Spencer. It's going well. How are you? Doing well, and thanks for asking. Just off no the problem. bat, um, wanted to hear your initial thoughts on the results from yesterday and kind of if you're starting to, you know, formulate a plan at all in terms of maybe some names you might be targeting or, you know, a type of um, player fit that you're looking to select um, this year? Yeah, we're, um, we're really excited about the opportunity to have the third pick in the 2022 WNBA draft. We think that we'll be able to get a quality player that can really help um, bolster what we're trying to do here in Atlanta. Um, somebody who is competitive, somebody who um, wants to be in Atlanta and wants to do uh, great things with our organization. So we're thrilled about that. Um, and just moving forward, obviously we have free agency that's coming up. So um, we're going to, to, to dig deep in that as well and, and try to go get some players that can help, um, you know, build the foundation to, to, to what we're trying to do here. Sure. And, and at this point, um, you know, in the college season, how much have you and the uh, front office been able to start, you know, scouting and putting, putting together a list of, you know, some names you've been targeting? Yeah, we've definitely um, been, been out and about. We've gotten to see a lot of games so far between uh, myself, Dan, Darius. Um, we, we've seen a bunch of different college kids and there's a, there's a, a, a great pool of kids um, out there right now for us to, to be able to continue to, to scout and continue to evaluate to see who can, who can add, um, what piece we can add to our team. Obviously, we have a long ways to go. Um, we, we, don't, we don't have anybody in particular um, right now in this minute, so there's still a lot of college basketball to be left, a lot of scouting for us and evaluating um, for us out there to do, and so we're going to continue to do that diligently um, until we until we find the right piece. Sure. And, and for you personally, I mean, what was the extent of kind of your role in terms of scouting and kind of looking for future draft prospects when you were uh, in Vegas? Uh, you know, in, in Vegas, obviously, we, we looked at players just like we're going to do here. Um, we had conversations about who we should pick at, at our two picks that we had. Um, and so just like there is, is the extent is the same. Um, I was involved in, in those conversations and obviously I'm going to be involved in these conversations here um, as we move forward. So this isn't anything that that's new to me. Um, I came from the college, the college scene as well. So, you know, obviously there, there's some recruiting um, that goes in place as well. So um, this is familiar territory for me. Sure. You've also, I mean, in the past few weeks, you've talked a lot about kind of the, making sure that the players who are in your roster next year are a good cultural fit for the team and, and really fit within the culture you're trying to build. How is that, I guess, how do you go about scouting for that sort of thing? Is that, you know, conversations with teams? Is that just something you're able to pick up? I'm curious to hear about that side of it. I think it's just paying attention to the nuances. Obviously, it's getting into um, conversations. It's talking to people that um, that are close to to some of these um, players. It's going to watch practices. It's all these different nuances that you have to pay attention to. I think um, you know, in person, you can tell a lot about a kid in terms of their reactions, their body language, different things like that. Um, so we're we're trying to pay attention to a lot of different things. Um, because culture is the number one thing that we're looking for. We're looking for people who um, who are great people, first and foremost, and who um, bring the right type of culture. Um, we have to establish that from the beginning. So as we continue to evaluate these kids, that's definitely something that we're paying attention to. Right. Uh, additionally, have you in the front office at all, um, you know, talked about the potential of either you know, trading up, trading down, or, or trading the pick, or is it still kind of too early to say exactly what you'll do? Yeah, I think it's too early. Um, it just happened yesterday. Um, we're excited about the opportunity to, to add value to our roster, um, but, you know, just like every other team in the WNBA, um, we, we 
definitely reserve the right to, to change our minds and to leave our options open and to um, find what, what's going to be best for the Atlanta dream moving forward. Great. And kind of sticking on what you've talked about, um, I mean, obviously, I think Cheyenne Parker is the only player who's on a, on a guaranteed contract um, heading into next year. So you have a lot of roster flexibility and a lot of decisions to make. Um, but with that in mind, do you anticipate going into the draft looking to draft for the best available player or um, you know, drafting more for fit around the pieces that you might have? Or is that, again, is it still kind of too early to tell? Yeah, I think we go into it looking to, to, to draft the best available player for Atlanta, right? And so whatever that means, um, it can mean based upon who we have, based upon you know, who we get in free agency or just whoever's just the best fit um, for our team and our needs at that at that given time, I think is what uh, we'll go into it looking. Um, but it again, it's also early. You never know what can happen. Um, like I said earlier, just like any other team in the WNBA, um, we're always looking to to make our roster best as we can. So whatever that means, we'll we'll leave our options available to be able to do that to make those pivots. Perfect. And. Uh, you obviously, I mean, you have coaching experience at the WNBA, but also the college level. Um, what what sort of things are you looking at in a college kid where you say, oh, maybe we can, you know, develop this, or maybe you know, this is a really important thing that we have to look for. Uh, you know, when you're comparing, because it's not exactly the same thing scouting a WNBA player as a, as a college player. There's you know room to grow and things like that. Right. I mean, I, I think there's room to grow, <laughs> whether you're in the WNBA or if you're in college. Right. So you're looking for players who, um, you know, who has really good skill set, who can bring positive energy to a team um, and, and players that you can continue to that you see that want who have a desire and a passion to get better. And they're willing to put the time and the effort um, to get better um, day in, day out, year in, year out. Um, so, so we're looking for for players who just um, want to be here and want want to get better and want to grow, and um, you know that that are open to to doing that because I think that that's something that um, we're definitely going to be looking to do here in Atlanta is to build um, and to ve to develop our um, our talent. All right. Thanks so much. I, I think that's all the questions I have. No problem. Thanks for coming, Spencer. Thanks, Spencer. Uh, we have one more question. We'll go to Rafiq Lewison. Go ahead, Rafiq. This is Rafiq with nothing but that sports talk. When you look back at the way that the Atlanta Dream was developing last year, like when during the years when you wasn't coaching the Atlanta Dream, like now that you're actually coaching them, what type of offense and defensive development that you're looking to work on when you're going through free agency in the draft? Yeah. I think that that's a hard question to uh, to answer right now. Um, we're going to go into free agency and try to get some quality players, players that we that we think are really good cultural fits for Atlanta, and then we'll we'll build upon that. Um, but I think um, you know, with our roster right now being what it is, it's really hard to to be able to say we need to go out, um, you know, and get some players and develop from there. Appreciate your insight and good luck. Thank you. Um, and actually, we're going to go back to Spencer. Go ahead, Spencer. Yeah, I lied. One more question. Um, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> perfect. So uh, obviously, I mean, you want to kind of build this young core in Atlanta. Uh, you have Ari, you have, you know, Kennedy, if she um, ends up staying. I'm curious what sort of players you might envision, you know, working well alongside kind of your young um, core, if there are certain traits you think especially could help um, area or help any of the young players? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Kennedy is a part of our roster. Um, Ari is a part of our roster. They're both really good young talents that we have. Um, and I, I think bringing in some veteran leadership can definitely help them. Um, people who can show them how to be a pro day in, day out. Um, people who can give them little tidbits about, um, you know, little nuances of the game, different things like that. People who can challenge them and make them better and um, help grow their game. So just just 
different type of personalities, different type of people, but definitely people who, um, you know, like I said, culturally, they fit and they, they want to, they see the same vision that, that we're seeing in terms of growing and developing our young talent and want to help them get there. All right. All right thanks so much. Awesome. Thank you, Spencer. Uh, thanks so much, Tanisha. We appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, everyone, for joining.